Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Wizard 101 Let's Play. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I'm so happy you could join me. So, like I said at the end of the last episode, this episode is going to be focusing on Nerissa Wormscale's side quests. Um, we will not be heading into the labyrinth in this episode. Seeing as how the game the game says it's going to take two hours, which means for me it's probably going to take about an hour to be to be completely honest, or maybe even a little bit more. So that is going to be its own episode. However, I did decide to go into the labyrinth on my own real quick, like because if you remember our quest to get my to get my next death spell required us to talk to someone in there well that person is the quest giver for the dungeon but so yeah so went right up to him talked to him and we got a new spell <laughs> scarecrow the quest the quest to get scarecrow is pretty honestly pretty simple you talk to him he sends you back into the necropolis you fight a couple minions go to the cistern you know, go to the cistern to pick up some, uh, pretty much liquid nightmare. Go back to Dorgan. Dorgan sends you to Mushu, to the Tree of Life dungeon, where you take on, where you pretty much do the entirety of the dungeon, up to Kagamusha. Take him out to get a seed, a seed of death. Go back to Dorgan. Make a miniature scarecrow. Plant it at, uh, like, at Nightshade's tower in Wizard City. And then... Scarecrow. Scarecrow spell. So I'm debating whether or not I should take out Ship of Fools. I don't part of me doesn't want to because it's my four it's my four pip AoE. Um so would be nice to use against like smaller enemies and stuff like that. But to be completely honest, Scarecrow is what we're gonna be using from now on. So I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'm definitely keeping Deer Knight just because of the damage utility of Deer Knight is pretty good. So, but yeah, I'll think about it. For I'll think about it. But right now, we got a new spell, and I am looking forward to getting to use it. But anyway, let's go see if we can find Miss Wormscale. See where she is. Apparently, see they're not. They're not outright telling me where she is. Oh, well, there, okay, there she is. I guess I missed this because I never actually, yeah, I never went this direction. All right, Miss Wormscale, what you got for me? You there? Have you seen any of my students? I'm so worried about them. After the great raid by the Titan army, they have apparently gotten lost. I always told them to use their lamps to guide oh. them home. But since the invasion, the lamps are dark. Could you see if you can find my lost mana sparks to relight the lamps with? I think the barbarians nearby took them. Okay, cool. We get to fight some uh, of the horned barbarians. Awesome. Looks like I'll be getting a second one pretty soon. <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to using that spell. I'm actually going to go ahead and... F Put up a faint, because why not? Ah, uh, you... Evil. You jumped in right before. Right before the barbarian could. That's just rude, that's what that is. See, they both have... See, that's the sad thing. They both have a curse on them, so it's like... I can't really use what I want to use here. So not the best start to things. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Wait, why can't I use it? Hold on. 
That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's why. That's fine. Yeah, being a seven pip means it's gonna take a bit to get to it, but. my luck were better in this fight yeah we would have had it a lot earlier so let's go ahead and use it curious to see what it does without a blade I mean yes that's a this one has a 70 boost that one has a 30 boost and it'll be life damage too but let's go ahead and see Barbarian. Let's see if I can... I would really prefer just to get, you know, two Barbarians together. Okay, we got one there and there. Ex excellent. Here we go. There we go. Alright, let's see. Well, nothing here is helpful. See, and, and I will say, nothing nothing says I have to use. Nothing nothing says I have to use um, Scarecrow every time. Nothing says that. Though it is just an objectively stronger spell. And sure, it takes a little bit more to get to it, but that's okay. I mean, like right here, I'm not going to use it. I'm going to go ahead and Deer Knight just to get this over with. taken out by the burn damage. like this thank you with the mana sparks we can light the lamps again there are so many lamps though I would appreciate it if you could help me light them that way more of my students will see them and come home sure you relight the lamp with the mana 
I can see the lamplight oh, again. Thank you, stranger. Now I can find my way home. Huh. I actually wasn't expecting a uh, student to pop up. That's kind of cool. I wonder if they'll all be different. Different designs and whatnot. Let me pick up the, the ore. Something I always recommend. If you see a reagent, just you pick it up. the lamp with the mana spark. Oh, it's the same one. I can see the lamplight again. Thank you, stranger. Now I can find my way home. Okay, that's two. There's one over there, which we'll get when we circle back around. Because there's one at the start of this area. Three is going to be up here, right there. You relight the lamp oh, with the, the mana spark. I can see the lamplight again. Thank you, stranger. Now I can find my way home. You relight. Yeah, let's just kind of speed through that real quick. All right, I need. Two more. I need to find two more. Oh, good. They they extinguish themselves. You really? That makes it a little faster for me, since they they go out. You really? What a relief! I've seen some of my students as they're coming back. With the lamps lit, I'm sure all of them will be at peace. Many thanks for your help, young wizard. That's it? I was expecting so much more. I, I will admit I was expecting more. Huh. Well, that's just... okay. Hmm. Well, this is too short even for me to um, call the episode. So... Yeah, okay, fine. We'll go ahead and head, head into the labyrinth. I was expecting that to take a lot longer. Or at least a little longer. Not some rinky-dink, here, fight some, you know, fight three barbarians. Oh, do you mind lighting some lanterns? That's it. That can't be it. This must be an area where people go for, like, for school quests. It, it would have to be for some of these things. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Well, like I said, let's go ahead and head into the labyrinth. So. This labyrinth says it's supposed to take about two hours. I don't know how long it's going to take me, because I know that there's a lot of... There's a lot of roaming bosses in it. Um, I think there's like there's like four different roaming bosses you're going to have to fight. Um, hmm. I'm still debating with myself. No, let's go ahead and do it. If this episode ends up being overly, overly long, that's okay. You were about... Yeah, it's completely fine if this episode ends up being super long. Alright. Quickly, to the side. Yes, and there is a fishing guy here. Um... The fishing vendor. He sells spells that are meant to. Um, I think I can actually show them. Show the spells. Let's see. There are utility spells. These. Uh, Winnow, Deathfish, and you know, Scareway all accept uh, Deathfish and so on. Those are the ones he sells. As well as. Whoop, wasn't there something else? Or was it just those? No, I think it was. I think it was mainly just these spells here. Scare away everything except that school, the school that you want. So just, uh, yeah, that's what he does. 
All right, let's go ahead and go talk to Dimitri. Massive lava area. Very, very cool. Um, there's a few, there's a few unique, there's a single unique fish in here. It's the labyrinth fish, and it's, if you've ever seen the, uh, the movie The Labyrinth with, uh, David Bowie, it's based off of him, which is really kind of cool. But anyway. You've come here for the Dean? I wouldn't worry about him anymore. He's taken care of. It's his accomplices I'm worried about. When he turned bad... The Dean set loose some of the criminals imprisoned here. You seem a brave youngster, or a wizard. Why don't you help me out and put those criminals to rest? First, you'll need to get across the bridge. After the raid, the key to the bridge was left somewhere in one of those houses over there. Okay. Let's go get a fight of Silver Sentinel in this house over here kind of a really big area well actually it doesn't seem that big but it's bigger than I feel like it's bigger than you think this final tower down here is definitely where the Dean is probably but anyway in we go this key is my duty to guard it I was made the key must not be taken I guard it with all my being good for you you're going down, though. You and your erratic servitor. That's not bad. Um, wow. Basically nothing. That doesn't happen very often. Death shield? Yep. That's fine. What is going on? No, I mean, like, seriously, this is actually ridiculous. You know what? Do this, get rid of the, get rid of the friend. Maybe. That's fine, but really? Don't need the Deer Knight, set up the faint. I'm going to cast it anyway. It won't trigger, but I'm going to cast it. I'll use it for my next spell. Oh my god. Get rid of one of you. I'm going to go ahead and... Skeletal Knight to get rid of the Death Shield. set up now. Get rid of the Scorch. I'm actually going to get rid of one copy of Scarecrow. Set up another feint. Okay. 
Here we go. Now we're now we're starting to cook. That's basically everything he's got. I'm gonna have to hit with something just to get my heal. that little annoyance out of the way we've got the key I don't know why that was frustrating me so much you know what I am I'm gonna get rid of it served it has served as well but I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop it for now I might add a in its place I might add a third copy of of you nope now we're gonna get rid of we're gonna get rid of the vampires as well. Third copy of you. I think that might be good. We'll try that out for now. That looks like the right key. Now use the bridge key on that pedestal. The mechanism inside will raise the bridge and you can cross it easy enough. On the other side, see if you can find and defeat three escaped conspirators for me. That would help restore some order to this place. I was gonna check one thing real quick. Okay. Just wanna make sure that there was nothing that there was nothing in the um No side quests. That is the Dean's cell over there. Alright. So we got these. These are the roaming bosses I was talking about. Zora. Okay, let's see. Get rid of this. Set up. Let's go ahead and get rid of that as well. Set up the faint.
All right, let's see. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just put up another curse. fizzle. And naturally she's going to put up a shield right as a... I'll stop. <laughs> Sorry, that's just... that is a little frustrating. I fizzle, you know, I fizzle and they're like, oh, by the way, you know, what would have done some pretty significant damage. It's fine. There we go. That is helpful. Weaknesses, man. The weaknesses, I tell you. some more faints on her. Yeah, that tracks. That tracks, doesn't it? Fine. Um, I actually... Deer Knight might not be a bad thing here because the uh, follow-up damage. Yeah, let's do that. The damage over time will still be boosted. And that does really help. So she's taking about 400 damage per tick. Obviously, that's not enough to take her out, but... Okay, she passed that one. 900. Take, an take another bonus. surprised. What is she sitting at? 451. This is why. This is why the dungeon takes two hours. Alright, that's our first one done. Next. Andor. And or bristleback. Grab 
grab him, and it's going to be him and a Cyclops. Don't need any of those. I'm going to go ahead and I'm actually going to Spirit Blade here instead. I didn't even look at what his health was at. 30, 3360, not bad. And I will admit, yeah, that fight, that previous fight took longer because she was a life, en she was a life enemy and she was throwing up you're putting up um putting up death death shields and stuff like that so that definitely made that fight go a little bit longer probably a lot longer than the fight needed to go i'm going to go ahead and actually put up this feint and then, then I can cast a Scarecrow next turn. Not worried about him at all. And our next one is Devora Shadow Crown. Down this way. And she's a death enemy, because of course she is. Yeah, death, life, and storm. Interesting choices. storm. Interesting. I'm not seeing anything great here. But also, all of this stuff is, is good, and I don't want to get rid of it. Might just have to hit her with a... hit them with a spell anyway. friend here is taken care of, the uh, barbarian barbarian spirit you're taken care of with whatever I decide to attack with. Um, yeah, this is not going, going well. Trying to set up stuff that'll still trigger once I put a prism on her. I 
might just have to go. Yeah, I might just have to cast my spell. Once I yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to cast a spell. Um Sure, dear knight. That is helpful. And it was on her. The sad thing is her resistance is so high. Yeah, her resistance to death magic is so high it just doesn't even matter. damage was supposed to do 1444 damage is how much it was supposed to do ultimately it did you know did 315 like it's not even funny how like that would have to be like a 60 or like a 60 or maybe a 70 or 60 or 8 60 to 80 percent resistance i think That's everything she's got, so I can, I can set up. I can set up a few things. Yeah, saw that one coming, but that's fine. See, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scarecrow once, um, once I think I'm ready. That took everything she had. Honestly, actually, I, I'm probably I'm probably good. Let's just do it. There we go. And that is them. Wow, that's actually not a bad deck for a, a storm character. I might hold on to that. Maybe, I don't know. Hmm. It's more that it's one you can't it's more that it's one you can't you can't get at the bazaar, because that's what the, the gavel there means. Back to Dimitri. And they do respawn, which is interesting. So if you want to um, to fight them, they all have like unique or interesting um, wands that you can that you can get from them. They're all you know they're all weapon based. But so yeah, if you if you ever want to farm them, you know they'll respawn after after a little bit. 
Just something to consider. You can also get those wands by fishing in areas of in Dragon Spire, but yeah, it's kind of a lower drop rate. Whereas with them, it might be up. You might have a better chance of getting it by fighting them. I don't know. Excellent work. It sounds like they've learned from their mistake. Such a pity that Dragon Spire had to pay for it. I'm not so sure if I should let you see the Dean. When we rounded him up, he had no regrets about what he'd done. He's either cold-blooded or just plain crazy. No good will come from talking to him. You've earned the right to speak with him, though. So here's the key. Use it on the center pedestal to raise the bridge to his cell. Just watch out for that one. He's tricky and as nasty as they come. Okay, well, before we talk to him, I want, I want to check something. I want to check what this tower is. No, 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 let's go ahead and talk to him. I'll check the tower after we've finished the dungeon, because maybe we'll be sent over there. I don't know. Vladimir Darkflame. Hello there, young wizard. I don't get many guests here. As a point of fact, I get no visitors, not a single living soul. So believe me when I say I'm pleased to see you. What brings you here? Let me guess. You want me to admit you to Dragon Spire Academy, correct? There should be no troubles there. They threw me in jail, but they never fired me. Excellent, then, since the Titan's army destroyed Dragonspire. <laughs> Student enrollment is down. We can use the fresh blood. If I'm to help you, then you must do something for me. Just a little mercy for an old man in this cold dungeon cell. Please go to the tower outside and retrieve my cloak. During the circumstances leading up to my arrest, it ended up atop the tower outside. Yeah, I don't trust him at all, but, I mean, you'd be kind of dumb to trust him. Let me guess, is the tower the one I was going to go check out? It is not. Okay. these things I guard. You must destroy me to take them. Hmm, okay. There's our book to read. Oh, and I need to find, I completely forgot, I need to find the uh, stone rose that's in here. I think it's at the, yeah, it's at the end of the, yeah, it's at the end of the dungeon. I well, won't we'll be needing either of you this time. He's at 3,200. Okay. on him, right? Yes. Excuse me. I guess I can put a curse on you too.
Excellent. Please be on the boss. Please be on the boss. It was on both. Oh, it just missed. In terms of, like, taking him out, that's actually kind of funny. Wow, I didn't get anything. I'm just gonna pass. I mean, like, I didn't get a... Yeah. I really don't think that's gonna help you very much, to be honest. is titled The Age of the Kingdom of Dragonspire. When the dragons ruled the skies and struck fear into the hearts of men, the wise and powerful King Mene met in secret with the Queen of the Drakes, Gavarina. Gavarina and Mene joined together. The forces of men and drakes banded together and overcame the dragons. Thus ushered in the age of the kingdom of Dragonspire. All right then. Back to Dark Flame. Where I'm sure we're gonna have a combat. We're gonna have to fight him. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if somehow he gets out of his cell and ends up at the end of, at this tower. I don't. I just. It wouldn't surprise me. Your first day, and you get the highest marks in show and tell. I'm most grateful for this cloak. It keeps the chill away. I'm afraid my demands haven't been entirely met. In addition to the restoration of my cloak, mm -hmm. I'd like my old staff back. I require it to admit you into this school. My staff was taken by a guard who now patrols deep in the detention center. Take this. It should get you through his gate. The Dean passes a small key to you. What's that? You don't want to help me? I suspect what you're up to is far more important than any punishment they're inflicting on me. So tell me, young wizard, how badly do you want admission into Dragon Spire Academy and the portal stone that comes with it? If you wish it, you'll do as I say. I mean, sadly, he's got us there. We need... Like, we need to get into the upper upper ranks of Dragonspire, and only he can get us into the Academy. Which is in the circle just below where we need to be. I didn't, actually, I didn't realize that it would probably be blocked off um, where, where I wanted to, you know, where we needed to go. So while... So while we're on that side, I might go ahead and go go down to the tower. Gray, grayback trollkin. Okay, cool. So this guy's gonna be a wandering boss, as you would probably expect. Let's see. Haven't seen him yet, but. I guess he's ways up. Yeah, apparently he's down. Probably down that way. Yeah, I'd much rather... Galogon, what? Okay. I so say that's not a... 
That's not a named boss, is it? Like, anyway, let's see if I can find the stone rose. It has to be like it has to be around this tower somewhere. Oh, there he is, the paladin. Was I wrong? Is the I might have to I might have to look this up really quick as to where where the rose is. Can't go across. I would have thought I would have thought it would be by this tower. Yeah, at the very far end. Yeah, it could still be. I just have to go to the corner. Up oh, there it is. I saw it out just out of the corner of my eye. And found the six stone rose. All right, so it is pretty much right in that corner. All right, paladin. Okay, I'm gonna give him a little bit of space. Yes, we got the troll. Just makes things easier. This guy would have put up death shields, and I'm, I'm not about that life. Not today. Not today. I mean, yeah, he's already going to put up tower shields, but this is what I need, right? just because I see another one. I'm really hoping this is who I... Yeah, they won't show me my quests. But I'm really hoping this is who I had to fight. the curse and then we will scarecrow. Rude. Any yeah, say anything else I can use to power up before we do this? No. All right. That'll definitely help. Okay. So he's still got about half of his health. Annoying. does the damage of a Kraken. Because that's fair. No, it's completely fine. Sixteen fifty five, I've got plus a hundred on him. Nothing else. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait to be able to cast my scarecrow. There we go. 
show. There we go. Just going this way so I can do an easy turnaround. Alright, back to Dark Flame. And I wasn't wrong, this has almost taken us an hour so far. But I'm pretty sure I'm... I'm pretty sure we're almost done. Pretty sure we're almost done. I can definitely see why it takes that long, though. Because technically we've had like six or so, six, seven boss fights, I think. Looks like we're about to have another one, probably. Well, my young friend, you've returned my staff to me. It looks a bit worse for wear, but should be functional still. I am without a third oh of my, my badges of office. You have provided my cloak, my staff, and now I need the battle crystal. It's being stored in detention for safekeeping. Could you return it to me? You're understandably reluctant about so arming me. But let me put your mind at ease. I have a portal stone and can escape at any time. I will give you that stone if you restore my belongings to me. So, do detention with you and don't come back without my battle crystal. I mean, when you put it like that... Alright, where is this? Not where I thought it would be. Maybe it's not even a combat encounter. No, it's probably crystal storage. It's in one of the towers. Yeah, it's in this tower. Oh! Oh, that's so nice. Crystal workbench, I guess. It. With my cloak, staff, and battle crystal, I feel like the dean of admissions once more. Mine is the power to decide who becomes a student. And with that, I'm afraid yeah. that I will have to deny your application into Dragonspire Academy. My condolences, young wizard. Unfortunately, you won't be getting that portal stone either. It's only appropriate to end your application with your defeat. I mean, it's not like we didn't see this coming. This oh. is only the start. My name will echo throughout this spiral as the one who destroyed it. And you, you were my unwitting accomplice. And he's a death boss. Okay, that's fine. It is a one-on-one -on -one fight, so this is should be pretty easy. 6,400. Okay, 6,400, that's, that's cool. That's fine. Um... Let's get rid of the pirate, set up a feint. That's, that's not helpful. That's so not helpful. 
going to get rid of one scarecrow. I need a I need a prison. You know, I expected him to be a fire boss. I don't know why, I just I expected a fire boss. Thank you, game. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna get rid of you. You as well. I'll keep the two cotton. I'll get rid of one copy of Wraith. I know, I'm getting rid of things left and right. It's mainly because I, I need... Like, this is... Yeah, that's what I need. I need... I need some more spells. I need some more boosting spells. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a Banshee. I was expecting something bigger. Okay. I need some blades. Thank you. They used up all of his pips. Okay, so there's a blade. Okay. Don't need that. I can set up a spirit trap. It'll trigger. The death of it will trigger. And then I'm going to Scarecrow next turn. Scarecrow next turn, unless that's that is good. That's good right there. All right. Now let's Scarecrow. Yes. Yes, excellent. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, you're better than I thought you'd be. I'm sorry for deceiving you, but I couldn't remain in there for another day. When you came to see me, I saw a way out. But to do so, I needed to provoke you into a duel. You have more than earned membership in the Academy. The portal stone is yours. Perhaps you will undo the doom I brought upon this place. Now in defeat, I am free to leave this place and go on to face my ultimate destination. I wonder what awaits me. You find a Dragonspire Academy portal stone hidden among the Dean's possessions. All right. Now we did just hit level 50. So Diego has something for us. I am ready to teach you new abilities to enhance your prowess in magical duels. Speak to me when you are ready. Which I probably will finish things off with. Um, finish this episode off with that. Obviously, uh, Vladimir does have a second chance chest, but not too interested in it. But that is that, my friends. That went so much better than I thought it would. Okay. Now, what's the easiest way out of here? Just, just this way. All 
Right, out we go. But yeah, that took uh, less than an hour. So much for a two hour long... <laughs> so much for a two hour long dungeon, yeah. But anyway, let's talk to the Crystal Guide. Tell her that we are now a full-fledged student of Dragonspire. Congratulations on your admission to Dragonspire Academy. Talk to the Headmaster. Please follow the road through the Crucible into the main Academy Square. Go through the large double doors emblazoned with dragons. You will need to enroll in one of the Academy's schools to begin your studies. Enjoy your time here at Dragonspire. Huh. Alright. So. Reaper's Rainment. Crystal Grove. Okay. So, like I said, um, I'm going to... We're going to head back to Wizard City real quick, just because Diego's thing is another... I'm pretty sure Diego's thing will ex is meant to explain... Not this. Arch Mastery. Yeah, it's meant to start explaining Arch Mastery, which, if you had noticed, I was... Well, actually, I hadn't really shown it. I was at a 2 before hitting level four, level 50, and now at level 50, you have a base of 40, meaning that I should be able to cast my spells, uh, cast my, uh, um, like, Deer Knight, without having to need that extra. Apparently, now you can also lock your level. Hmm. Well, because this, this was the original max level, level 50, so that's really cool. But anyway, um, yeah, like I said, before we head to the, the academy, let's go back to the Basilica. Let's head, to, head back to the Basilica so I can... Um, where's the way up? This way. So we can get back to Wizard City easy enough, and then go and talk to Diego. And then we'll wrap things up. Okay, Wizard City. I wonder if it'll actually show up as a quest. It does. So let's go talk to Diego real quick. Yeah, he should be. I think he'll talk about Arch Mastery, but let's see. Arrow to the knee? What? Now that your dueling skills have improved, it is time for me to take your training further than ever. I am ready to teach you if you are willing to listen. Huh. Decide for yourself if you are ready to improve. Oh, we also start getting a critical rating. Right. Forgot about that. Yeah, let me look at that too, real quick. Oh, well, no. I guess not. Yeah, I guess we'll have to, we have to have gear to give us a critical rating, so... That's fine. I'll just... You know, my, my pet is where I get my critical rating, so I'll wait. Welcome, my friend, to the dueling arena. You wish to learn more of the art of dueling, no? Outstanding! Approach the puppet, and we shall begin your lesson. At your current level of skill, you are capable of a new result when you are dueling. The critical. Before we witness the critical, though, let's examine a normal spell. Cast Stormzilla and take note of its damage. Stormzilla did its typical amount of damage. Now, cast the spell again, and this round we will see the spell critical.
Remarkable. Stormzilla did twice its usual damage. Many spells, including attacks, heals, or even steals, can potentially critical. A critical damage spell deals twice the usual damage to your opponent, while a critical heal is twice as beneficial. Your chance to achieve a critical improves with your abilities, and equipment or enchantments can increase it further. But do not become carried away with your newfound power. <laughs> there is a counter to the critical. The block. Cast this spell and observe the block. Block prevents a successful critical. Take note though, blocks only affect criticals. They have no effect on normal spells. Just like critical, your chance to block can be improved through equipment and enchantments. Though most, I don't think most people really bother, bother with that, but you know, I could be wrong. Another important new ability is armor piercing. Armor piercing allows spells to breach shields, auras, and even spare resistance. Hundred percent. Wow. Cast this spell and watch for armor piercing. Some of this spell's damage breached the shield. About 20% of it. Congratulations! Your studies have progressed far enough that you can learn new forms of magic. Astro magic. Which we'll have to wait until we get to uh, Celestia to actually start learning some. But that is the next world after Dragonspire. Though, yeah, well. Astro magic consists of sun spells, moon spells, and star spells. Star School spells allow you to train auras which affect only you and last a limited number of rounds. Typically four, I think. Let's cast the Star School spell. Cast Amplify now. 15% additional damage to all spells for four rounds. Amplify increases the damage of other spells for several rounds. Now, let's explore Sun School spells. Sun spells are trainable enchantments that allow you to modify other spells in your hand. Let's cast a Sun School spell. Use Accurate to enchant the Fire Cat spell. Click on the Accurate spell, and now click on the Fire Cat. Added 15% 15, uh, 15 accuracy to it to make it 100. Finally, the Moon School allows you to train polymorphs, which change your appearance, school, equipment, and deck for a limited number of rounds. Which I have, I've read on different like on different like wikis or Reddit and whatnot that it's it's a kind of a it's a fun idea, but like late in later content, it's just not worth not worth it. Let's cast a Moon School spell. Cast the Polymorph Gobbler spell. Finish the puppet with a taco toss. <laughs> uh, okay. What is that? One ice damage and taunt? Ew. What in the... 
Okay, I mean, whatever. Excellent! You have defeated him and completed your lesson. I will give you this humble gift. A simple token to demonstrate how the critical and the block work. Okay. All right, well, that was that. He gives us the Vicious Helm, which gives us a 50%, a 15 critical rating. Uh, what does that own, or what does that look like? I'm guessing it's a, um... Oh, that looks like crap. I hate that. <laughs> no. This is, I think this is what uh, Celestia's, like, some of Celestia's gear ends up looking like, but no, we will not be using that. But anyway, that is that. I'm actually surprised he didn't talk about Arch Mastery. Yeah, that, that actually does kind of surprise me. Hmm. Well, that's fine. Um, but with that, I do believe... What? Sergeant Maldoon has something for us. Hold on. Hold the phone. What does he have? I just want to check this out real quick. Because yeah, I'm in completely new territory here. I don't know like what's going on. I know I know hitting level 50 is... Like, you're kind of expected to be level 50 by the time you beat Dragonspire. So if this has anything to do with like going to a new world, we're going to wait. Because... You know what? I think yeah, I think you can actually go to Celestia before you even finish. Mm, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's uh, but let's go check this real quick. I'm just I am beyond curious as to what this is. Um, we'll find out and then probably wrap things up. Don't want to take too much of a detour from what we're doing, but Sergeant, what you got for me? What is this? I'm certain of two things. First, that there's terrible trouble afoot. Secondly, that you're just the wizard for the job. I've heard nothing but good things about you since you first came here, and this seems right up your alley. My superior, Lieutenant Culpepper, hasn't reported back oh. since he went to Colossus Boulevard, and I'm worried about the fella. I'd look myself, but I can't leave my post. Could you stroll over to Colossus Boulevard and ask the gate warden, Private O'Doyle, if he's seen Lieutenant Culpepper? I think I know what this is. I think I know what this is. I'm going to decline it for now. I think I know what this is, but I'm going to do a little bit of research on this quest. Um, just to see if it's something that I can, I can feasibly do right now, or if it's something I should wait to do until after we've completed Dragonspire. That ultimately might be, the, might be what it is. But as it is, like I said, I'm going to wrap things up here. Um... No matter what happens, in the next episode, we're going to be going back to Dragonspire and continuing right where we left off. So, yeah. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and please do consider subscribing. And to stay up to date for whenever new content is released to the channel, do not forget to hit that bell icon after you subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.